What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. We got both of the cars in the garage. We got the Ram right here. And what we're doing today is we're headed to Mexico. We're gonna race an import. We're gonna be racing a BMW M3. It's a full bolt-on car. That's pretty much all I know. Um, usually I don't really find out what's done to the car until I show up. You guys seen that happen with the ZL1 and I'm thinking it's gonna happen with this M3. I'll probably, you know, pull up and it's gonna be like on race fuel or E85 or some crazy shit. So I don't really know exactly what I'm getting myself into until I actually get there and I'm ready to race. So you can't really back out of the race once you get there. But I don't really care whether I win or lose. It's all content. I just love racing, whether to win or lose. Obviously, I don't want to win, but you know, I don't care. I don't race cars way slower than me. I like to put my car up against the challenge. <laughs> So we're headed out there right now, but a quick update on my personal life, even though you guys probably don't give a shit, but I'm still gonna tell you guys. So basically, I started a new diet. You guys know that I started to get fat, you know, over time, just because um, I basically stopped caring about eating healthy. Um, I would eat out almost every meal, the gym closed, you know, the whole quarantine stuff. So basically, I gained a lot of weight, and um, you know, honestly, like, it didn't bother me until I started to lose my and then it started to f with me. I'm like, okay, no, 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 time out, time out. Ron, you gotta get back, you gotta stay focused, you gotta get back in the game. So, you know, I gotta retrieve all my back and, you know, I can't I can't go out like that, guys. Ooh, I know you don't want no smoke now, do you, sis? We're pulling up. Look at that M3. All right, guys, so here are the two cars. We got my Mustang and then the BMW. So we're gonna talk about the BMW real quick. Do you wanna pretty much kind of tell us what you got done to it besides that it's beautiful he got the wheels he got the carbon fiber splitter i'm not a huge bmw fan but this thing is so clean is it lowered oh yeah it's so it kw what is it kw adjustable springs okay do you know how much it's lowered it's about an inch and a half in the front and then 1.7 in the rear okay so you got the carbon fiber splitter carbon roof carbon, carbon roof you got the carbon mirrors Carbon roof that that came factory yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that definitely saves you a little bit on weight He got these beautiful wheels. They're what apex apex. Yeah. apex. Okay So how wide are you in the back? Uh, it's a square setup. So it's 19 by 10s all around 275s all around. 275s. Okay, okay, and then he got this carbon fiber Splitter I like this airflow yeah. goes through here that's for a great car. Oh, great okay, okay, okay. Cool, and then, you wanna just talk to us about the setup real quick? Yeah, of course. So, so it's basically four bolt times right now. V85. So it's running. a V8? Yeah, 4.0 awesome. liter naturally aspirated. It's running underdrive pulleys, uh, the intake, full exhaust, Acapulvic mufflers. Oh. It is catless. Catless, okay. Yeah. And then? Tuned by RK. RK Tunes. Are they out of Michigan? No, it's out of New York. Okay. Yeah, fully 85 right now. So you're all fully 85, full bolt-ons, and six it wait speed. six speed. Is it auto, right? What is it? Is it auto, right? It's a six speed manual. Oh, manual. Okay. Yeah. So this thing weighs 3,600 pounds. You said? Yeah. 3,600 pounds, and I don't know how you got the paint to look so good, but he actually has a pretty clean paint. And what kind of exhaust you said is on here? Aquapovic. Do you mind if you turn it on? Yeah, sure. I kind of want to hear it. So here it is, guys. A BMW M3 full bolt-on on E85. So now, for those of you guys who don't know my setup, I basically have a JLT intake and it's on E85, no headers whatsoever. I didn't even need injectors, no fuel system. Literally, it's plug and play. You put that JLT intake, it's on E85, it's tuned, has a trans tune, and obviously I have spacers, but when it comes to performance modifications, literally intake E85 versus we got a full bolt on E85 M3. So what do you think is gonna happen? Um, honestly, on a 40 wall, 
40. It might be a good race. I feel like you're going to get me because you have the 10 speed. Right. But okay. My advantage is the high RPM because I can shift this thing at 8,600 So he shifts this at 8,600. Mine shifts at like 75, 76. Um, okay. So you think your 40 roll is, is your best roll? Yeah, yeah, because okay. third gear, 60 roll, that, that'll be way too low on my RPMs. Mm -hmm. So, it'll be a good race. up here real quick to cool the cars down also the main reason i really wanted to pull over is we just did two 60s and i got him on them but we're about to do a 40 roll so that's his favorite roll so for the 40 roll i gotta put my tire pressure down and i forgot before we left so we pulled over to put the tire pressure down so we could go out there and get those 40 rolls done all right let's get out there and do a 40. all right we're gonna put it in drag strip mode Turn traction off once, and we're ready to roll. Ready? difficult to do I usually hate racing around this time so um, we're still able to get it done we got 140 done we're just gonna pretty much call it a day honestly it's gonna be too hot boy so I don't like to stay on the same road for too long racing so as you guys can see um, we were able to take the W with the M3 All right. so what do you think 40 roll was a lot better dude there was so much traffic there's it was, it was it, it's a horrible time to get this done but we got it done we got 260s done and a 40 the 40 was better did you see once i shifted my car like went like this yeah so it was it, it spun but it just it shifts so hard if i don't have the slicks on there it's gonna spin one way or another all right be safe all right guys the M3 is uh, leaving, and uh, we are leaving as well. So, shout out to him. Uh, came out here, got it done. It, it is way too hot. We're racing in like 87 degree weather. Not an ideal uh, weather to be racing in, okay? So, but we still got it done for you guys. I hope you guys are liking the racing content. I'm trying to bring as much as possible. I'm always trying to find different cars to race. I like to change it up. So, I'll race a BMW. I'll race a Corvette one day. I'll race a ZL1 one day. Uh, I'll race different cars that you guys uh, might want to buy one day. You never know. You might want to buy an M3 out there. You want to see how it's going to perform against this. Or your friend might have an M3 and you have a Mustang. That's the same setup as mine, and you want to see if you could beat them, you know? So, it's just all fun and games, and I like doing different type of racing like this. Just different cars. I respect all cars, and I like racing all cars. So, with that being said, I'm going to take my behind home and start editing these videos for you guys. So, if you guys like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you don't want to smash it and you just want to lightly tap it, then lightly tap it. But that's all I got for you guys. Enjoy your day. Stay out the way and just make smart choices, okay? Peace out. Woo!